We study communication with a capital C and no S, uh, right? Which means that we don't study communications, just that's part of what we study, but what we study is actually all facets of symbolic expression, which means not only the generation of messages uh, via speech or writing or even mass media, but also various facets of the ways in which those method messages are received. We're grounded in rhetorical criticism, which means we're grounded in questions about um, both various modes of persuasion and also the ethics and politics of how we choose to persuade. Focusing on rhetoric and persuasion is so important to a career in communications because you have to be able to study something and know how to communicate that to other people and a lot of working and a lot of experience is persuading people. I mean, when you're young, you learn how to persuade your mom to let you stay up five minutes later. And then, you know, if you grow up and you need to get a job, you have to persuade someone that you're the best candidate for that position. And here we do learn how to see the pros and cons and to form a cohesive and a coherent argument for why something should or shouldn't be done. Over my four years here, I was able to learn a lot about messages and meanings, even in television series that I had never noticed before. So it's really been valuable in making my life more meaningful in a way and being able to understand all the messages that are surrounding us on a daily basis. In communication courses, we teach students to write and speak articulately and eloquently. We teach students to write and speak persuasively, and we give them plenty of practice to do that, so that when they go to get a job, they know how to write a cover letter that is persuasive. You can do human resources, public relations, you can go to broadcast journalism, marketing, you go to law school. We are trained here to think very clearly and concisely and that opens the door to any career field. Over my four years at CNAs, I did four internships. Uh, first at the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, my next was at CBS News during the presidential primaries. Uh, the third was at Channel 9 News, WMUR, in Manchester, New Hampshire. And my most recent one was at PQ Publications. For my summer internship, I worked for Fox News Channel in New York City. I worked in the booking unit, so that means I did the entire gauntlet of tasks involved with booking a guest. It was a whirlwind of excitement, constantly something new every day, a different guest, and I really got to see the things I was learning in class put into the real world, and it showed how useful my major and my studies had proven to be. All the internships that I have done have really tied back into the classes here at St. A's. It was only through my internships and the extracurriculars that I participated in at St. A's, uh, namely the St. Anselm Crier, that I found journalism was the particular area in communication that was right for me. A lot of students may feel the pull to go to a bigger school, that they'll have more opportunity, that they'll see more, that they'll do more. I think that's sort of a false idea. I had the idea myself but I came to a smaller school and I took the chance on St. Anselm and I have benefited more than I ever could have imagined.